What up, everybody? This is Mr. Jarvis Full coming at you for another game coming to it. Not Battlefield, though. Sad to say. This point, Battlefield play for free. It's bad company, too. See, I'm riding the little boat. I made a video just to go ahead and inform you. Um, I probably won't be doing any more play for free videos. So, yeah, I'm sorry to tell you that, but yeah, I probably won't be. I don't got. I did pretty. I did pretty decent on this game right here. Thank 14-7. I just did a video to uh, have something out there for y'all to watch since I've been out and talk about pay for free. But if anybody has, if you haven't played in a while, they have came out for update for all your weapons. If you had a plus three weapon, AKA. Used to be known as the Legacy. They gave your gun a plus three on everything, which is good, but also bad. Something that you'll figure out later. But until then, I will inform you on other stuff. Since they did that, I don't think people have been complaining as much, but. Just, they have completely changed the guns around by doing that. Not in a good way. Some guns got way more recoil than they had before because of the increased amount of damage put out. Others became weaker with more recoil and less range, like the XM8 AR. And the AN94 is still the same as usual. Though, but still, they have really messed up the game. And one thing I gotta tell them is, uh, forget you, forget all y'all. Suck. Spend over eighty dollars and pay for free. Over eighty. I'm finna to mess up all my weapons. None of my weapons are even worth the money anymore, except the handguns. They are actually worth the money. So if you plan on buying anything again, do not buy a weapon. Just buy a shotgun or a handgun. By that I don't mean go out there and buy a use ass. No. Do, do not do that. Yeah, I say you, there are multiple handguns on pay for free and most of the handguns on there, I'll do most of the guns right now. So, yeah, that's some good information to know. Like the Elite M1911, for instance. It shoots as fast as you want to shoot, and holds 10 rounds. For people who don't understand exactly how powerful it is, you can kill at least three people with, this, with that gun. If you go for head, because it's high damage and high rate of fire, but small magazine size puts a hope to kill more than one person on there. But there's not a real big downside for this for this for that gun. Though. The gun actually, it's actually upside to it though, because the gun has a faster reload of any other gun in the game. I think it's like 0.5 seconds or something like that, like 1.5 seconds to reload. That's a good choice. I tell you one hanger that's not a good choice, period. It has literally nothing good going for it at all. P226. I had it for my engineer. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. The range of the gun is supposed to have real good range like the like the grouch or gratch, whatever you wanna call it. Don't leave no comments about that. But it got the it basically got the same range as a M9 from hip fire, which is not saying too much for the gun itself. So, only thing I got going for that is just a wee bit faster than the grouch gratch. That's the only thing I got going for. An elite gratch holds one more bullet, and then 
that gun anyway. Yeah. The garage itself is a very good gun for killing more than one person, especially the elite version. The elite version is still quicker than the 1911, but holds somewhere around 18 rounds. And if used correctly, you can take down more than three people. You can take down more than four people using this gun. The downside about the gun, slow rate of fire and damage not too high compared to the 1911. And slow, slower reload. Thanks to his bigger clip and all. Dice and easy decided to make it a slower reload. Yeah, 1911. So on to the Rex. The Rex is a handgun that people call overkill. But it comes to its pure power. The gun is known for its power. And what it isn't known for is its reload. Most people don't understand about this gun. They get one shot killed by saying they be like, oh man, no, no, I, no, that's overpowered. A handgun one shot killed, no. But some they gotta realize that's six shots. That's the same as the 1911 ordinary version of it. takes two shots close up, one at head, one close up for head shot, and at medium range with it, it takes three to four shots. And it takes two head shots, but does the same damage as the 50 cal at about 80 yards, yeah, which is like 63 damage. In long range, it takes four, maybe five shots to kill somebody, and around two, maybe three shots. It has a slow reload of any of the other guns on there. Which is a very big downside for a lot of players who actually use it. But I find it okay. The recoil of the gun itself ain't bad. Ain't bad at all. Actually, the recoil is excellent for something with such much with such power. It doesn't shoot nowhere near as fast as the 1911 or the Grouch or the P226. In fact, it's the slowest shooting gun in the game by far. Getting killed by this gun at long range is a embarrassment, if anything. Because the recorder has and the slow rate of fire that it puts out makes the gun very hard to kill people at long range unless they're just not paying attention to it. But now you can take them out pretty easy. I love the gun. So they the one fact about the gun that brings me back and back to it. That one shot kill that close up the human the human the humiliation of it. Get put down one shot by a handgun close up just makes some people mad. Especially on Corkin. I will probably do a video on the Ricks sometime, but I don't know yet, so yeah. Shotguns on her. Shotguns. People have been going at it over the spas and the saga. Cause these stats are so much alike. It's hard to tell which one you wanna get. So that's why I haven't got neither one of them yet. But I'm gonna go ahead and tell you a, a fact though. The spies it works good at it works better at longer ranges. By longer ranges, I mean five or ten feet further out. Cause it's about a two or three shot kill. And unlike the Saga, it's a guaranteed three, like just like the USAS. Yep, I hit the USAS campus. So basically, you plan on being kind of you want to go out there and reach somebody. I go to spies. But you want to be some close up, unstoppable force of nature. But still want to save ammo at the same time. I'll pick the Saga 12. This bit for you. The reason why you don't want to pick the USA is. The USA is a great gun, just 
frowned upon by gamers of Battlefield, which is why a lot of people don't use it and a lot of people use it. Because you can kill a lot of people with but the same fact is a new gun, basically. And another fact, just in case you didn't know, the weapon itself uses up a lot of ammo. But it only takes two shots to kill somebody close up, which is something most people who use a gun don't realize. It only takes two shots to kill a person close up and three to four. Because if he had the worst aim, the worst range of all the shotguns. It makes up with it by being complete automatic destruction. But other than that, it's a it's okay gun. But if you plan on trying to live a long time and everything, I would take the Saga 12. It's more, it's, it's better made for it. And the USA is, you just ain't gonna last long with your period. It's, it's just not gonna work out for you. You can try with it, but that advice don't do it. Not worth it. Okay, the reason why I'm doing this video on bad company instead of Battlefield 3 most people probably trying to wonder that the reason why is not because I don't like Battlefield 3 I think it's a good game I just my computer just can't take it and have fraps on at the same time so since that's the case I can't play it on here if it wasn't for that I'll have this my first video so far would be on the M416 for best weapon on there in my opinion, fast reload, everything. But yeah. But just in case y'all didn't like y'all in Modern Warfare 3 players didn't like Battlefield 3 or something. There's always Modern War. There's always bad company too for you. It's a very fun game. To have it's been out for a while though so most people just don't play they would rather stick to new stuff so yeah in other words every time I get come out there go out and back bad company 2 only cost $18 plus tax is gonna land you around 20 something and the DLC for it which is Vietnam gonna cost you nine bucks it isn't a lot all together 29 well technically 30 plus 31 plus tax isn't a bad deal isn't a bad deal i got vietnam too i won't be posting videos of vietnam sad to say for reasons unknown so sorry oh and if you ever want to come by and play with me my username is gonna be instead of mr jars full or Jarvis 3 is gonna be cold name Fox. Yes, indeed, cold name Fox. You gotta part my name, speak now. Cause I'm in, cause I will not change it. I gotta say though, Battlefield pay for free compared to Viet, compared to Bad Company 2. Is basically a complete different beast. Pay for free, you can actually play with your enemies. You know what I'm saying? Make fun of them and everything. Here, you can't do it. You gotta go ahead and kill them fast as possible. Because usually you got you got a person spying up on them most of the time. <coughs> Excuse me. Got a little bit of cold. And then plus bad company the graphics are a lot higher than play for free. Which means better textures. And better textures mean better graphics. Basically in terms of saying, you gotta keep your guard up at all times. Because of what happens is people can hide more places than they could and pay for free. Way more. See I got blown by a tank right there. I didn't know my teammate was right there. I thought he was on on a different place. Accidentally spawned up on him. So, yeah. 
This is a good gun. I got to say, this gun got a learning curve of it. I was hit the learning curve, take you about, uh, it took me 24 hours or so. It's been about a day of play to actually get my kills even to where I'm not going to the niggas.